It's the Wonder Shop at Target, and this is the Safari print. You can see the giraffe with a little Santa hat. There's also. Now this is a little superficial, I will admit, but I kind of want cute matching PJs for my fiance and I because we've never really done that. It's like a tradition for a lot of families and I kind of want to partake in it too, even though I'm like 27 now. But I was on Instagram and of course those Instagram ads know how to get me. And it was of this brand, I've never heard of it before. It is called Hannah Anderson. And apparently it's like PJs mostly for kids, but they do have some like family PJs for the holidays. I haven't really heard much of this brand. I looked it up online, like just to see reviews on YouTube and a lot of people are just like reviewing the kid aspect of it. But there's not a lot of like family PJ videos. So hopefully the quality is good. But I saw these and I just think they're so cute. They're definitely a little bit pricey. So full price is $50 for just a shirt. And then they also sell, I don't know why it's not on this side, but they also sell matching leggings. And I feel like that's a lot. That is a lot. But they're on sale right now for $30, which is not much of a difference. But you know, anything counts. Um, so I kind of want them. And I want to show you the pants as well except for the fact that they're not here whatever it's in my cart so let's just go to my cart right now so here are the pants they all have it in women's and in just general adult sizes and they're just so cute i can't look at the little lace too at the end let me show you the men's one because i don't think the men's one has that or the adult one yeah it doesn't have that um, but yeah, I think it's just really cute. There's also two different types of sweaters. One of them is named the woman's long John top in organic cotton And then the other one is just an adult size So I'll have the adult size go to my fiance even though I think this design is a little bit cuter It's like a bunch of candy canes and Snoopy. There's also a bunch of cute like baby Yoda ones There's there's a lot of cute like adult. Let me show you family matching pajamas out here like there's some really cute ones um, there's like your typical aesthetic ones and then there's like actual character ones from like the Grinch and like there's Baby Yoda like I was talking about, the Mandalorian, the child, the Avengers which is cool, um, Princess Leia and then you have like Star Wars and Disney which is really cute. The Disney ones are nice as well. Um, they're just a little too simple for me, but they're all on sale right now And the point that I'm trying to make is that I'm probably gonna buy one of these um, Just to try out see what this company is all about. So these are discounted $28 $28 and then the two for me are $30 each Originally 50 which is a lot it, That's a lot <laughs> But I did notice that when you sign up for their mailing address you get uh, $20 off your first order of $100 or more. And I wasn't sure that that was going to apply to these PJs because they're already discounted. But lo and behold, they actually do. So what was supposed to be $117 minus the $20 with the free shipping um, is $97, which is not bad. So the coupon has already been applied. So I'm going to check out and see if we can make this happen. So in the past, we've done matching shirts for Christmas. I think the last two years. So um, this time it'll be PJs. Last time we bought shirts from Tee Public. The first one was like a Mario themed one or like a Nintendo themed one. The second year was a Mario themed one. And now this year we're going to do PJs for the whole family. But I don't know what design that's going to be because this is specifically for just my fiance and I. Because if our whole family decided to buy that, it would be a lot of money. Oh yeah, so the problem with the Tee Public t-shirts that we bought is that they're men's sizes. They do have women's sizes, but I've ordered them in men because some of the women's sizes either run too small or run too big and I wasn't sure with Tee Public and I didn't want to take that chance. So we ordered it with men's because I already had some men's mediums and men's smalls at the time, but it's still quite large, so it wasn't fitting properly for my mother and I, which I don't blame her for not wanting to do it after that. So that's why we're choosing like traditional pajamas that hopefully will fit nicer and less scratchy. Okay guys, so the holiday PJs from Target are here. I haven't looked at them yet. I mean, I opened the bag and I'm really excited. We never really wear matching PJs for the holidays, usually just like a matching t-shirt um, the last two years. So I'm excited about these. We have five pairs, let's see. So this is the men's, it's the Wonder Shop at Target and this is the Safari print. You can see the giraffe with a little Santa hat. There's also a lion, leopard, I don't know what other animals, an elephant. So we have this one. It's in medium. It's in men's. We have another men's in medium. And then we have 
a women's one in medium for my mom. And then I decided to get one in small, small which I definitely might regret <laughs> because I think I've gained weight since having my hours cut. I usually walk like 20,000 steps a day and lately I haven't and I just have a strong feeling that combined with poor eating habits, I probably gained some weight. So hopefully these run a little bigger but they don't always, like with PJs you never know, sometimes they run really big, sometimes they don't. So I'm gonna try these on and see. They actually do fit, thankfully. If I had gotten a medium, I think the pants would have been a little too long, but that's just because I'm really short. So yeah, I'm happy with it. These were $20 each for the women's and the men's were 25. Okay. All right, so my makeup was looking crazy in that last clip. I redid my makeup and then I went out um, because I am volunteering at an animal rehab center and it's pouring rain today. So my hair is wet, my face is a mess again. There's no point putting like a full face of makeup on when I have a face mask on for like six hours. I'm currently watching some true crime videos. I love Stephanie Harlow. I've been watching her channel since she had like 3K. So I'm watching that, I just ate lunch. I'm also reading a book that I wanted to talk about. I'm probably gonna go on Cosmic Bunny like a review for this, but this is A Year of the Witch, Connecting with Nature's Season Through Intuitive Magic. Um, definitely been getting into spirituality and, and I do have a second channel for that. It is Cosmic Bunny, it's still growing. It's still a very small, small YouTube channel. It's really hard to grow a YouTube channel. Like, it just, it really is. I think I'm gonna change my wallpaper for my phone and I wanted to show you it, but it's just, it has a big crack. Um, let me show you, Ugh, you can't really see it a little bit. It's just, luckily it's the screen protector and not my actual phone. I figured we can change my screen protector together. So I'm just gonna pop it up on my phone. That way I don't have to show you all the crack. I'm a super clumsy person and I'm always dropping my phone. It's really, really bad and I hate that I'm like that because I've been like that since I was like in high school when I got my first phone, which was a Nokia Music Express player. Side note, th that's how you know <laughs> you're getting old. Because I really love what my background is now, mostly pay attention to like lock screens. I want to do another like Charlie Brown Christmas wallpaper. So let's see because i really love the thanksgiving one that i have or it wasn't thanksgiving it was like fall themes and it sucks that i put it like the last two weeks of november because before that i had a pusheen halloween one so yeah there's that um i always go to pinterest just because it's easier to find good backgrounds except right now i'm kind of struggling iphone um i think i have one already in my photos so let me just go to settings and then we can look through my overly cluttered camera roll. Where is it? Wallpaper. Okay, um, photos. It doesn't look as cute as I thought it would, but you know what? It's fine. Set it as our lock screen and then we can go to Pinterest and find something for the home screen, which I really like doing just because I feel like it can be very distracting with all the apps in front of it but it's fine we're doing it anyway it doesn't matter um let's do this one it's not gonna look good it's just hard to scale it properly if i wasn't so lazy i would do it but i'm very lazy okay that's fine let's look at the lock screen because that's all that matters I think it looks cute. I just gotta get a new screen protector. But um, I usually get them on Amazon and I'm trying not to support Amazon anymore for its shady, unethical business practices. There wasn't a lot going on today. It was a very relaxed day. It's pouring outside, so there's really not much I can do. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you. Have a good day. Bye.